we decided to innovate the existing manual wheelchair to produce a wheelchair that will ease the transfer process of wheelchair users from one place to another place. So I will proceed with the introduction of our project. For the product background, wheelchair is basically a chair with wheels that act as a transportation device used by people who have difficulties in walking due to illness or disability. So as we know, there are various types of wheelchair which differ by propulsion method, mechanism of control and technology use. Some wheelchairs are made for general everyday use while some are made for special purpose such as for sport purpose. The problem statement for our project is the existing wheelchair is not practical in terms of transferring the patient from one place to another place faced by the caregiver or people who assist the wheelchair users. The objective of this project is to design a wheelchair that is practical to transfer the wheelchair user from one place to another place. Okay, now I will proceed with the methodology. So the first part of the methodology is the flowchart. So this is our flowchart. Uh, it starts with the customer requirement and end with the cost estimation on every part. Okay, next. For the idea generation, we conduct a survey with Google Form. Next, we did quality function de deployment, which is house of quality, HOQ. And proceed with the morphological chart and come up with sketching conceptual design. Next. This is the concept screening and scoring. The first thing is the concept generation. After the concept generation, we did a concept screening. Uh, after that, we continue with concept scoring. And lastly, with, uh, we continue with concept testing. This is the detailed design. First, we create conceptual design. Next, we create intermediate design. After that, we create detailed design, consists of bill of materials, multi-layers drawings, configuration details, and implementation plan. And lastly, we conduct pilot or prototype. Hey, okay, right. Next is a manufacturing process. Manufacturing process is used to the process used to produce the product. Okay, first we have the raw material, and then we use the manufacturing process, and then come up with the final product, and then the scrap will be disposed. Next, in our report, we have the, the design for manufacturing assembly and design for environments in the design. For manufacturing assembler, we have initial design and then we go to the functionality to calculate the design efficiency. If the design efficiency achieves the goal and then we go to the product stability to determine the manufacturing index and then the head followed by the handling, fitting and then final is the optimized design. Okay, for the design environment, the process of designing the entire and life cycle of a product or service so that at each phase of it like it is creating the smallest determinants effect possible on overall human health and the environment as at home. Next, in our report, we also conduct the sustainability of the product. The sustainability of the product is to measure that the ecology maintains. The sustainability covered in the fields of environments, economy, socials, and then in the environments, we have the residual materials, greening and the bike. Biodiversity. For the economy, we have responsible procurements, and then the social, we have ensure that service culture is maintained. Last, in our report, we will conduct cost estimation of every part of our products. A cost estimation is the approximate of the cost of a program, project, or operations. The cost estimation is the product of the cost estimating process. The cost estimation has a single total value and may have identifiable component value. Okay, the next chapter is about the result. The result we did based on our flow chart at the morphological charts. Okay, first is ideal generations. Ideal generation we have four topics which is the survey form, quality function deployments, followed by the morphological charts, and then we contribute a conceptual design. Okay. First, the survey form we create by a questionnaire using Google Form and then distribute to the hospital, elderly, not, not the elderly, it's the all box house to the elderly, to the assistant and then to the students, to the campus to obtain the result. And then followed by, based on our result of the Google Form, we have construct a QFD, which is quality, functions, deployments, and then 
you can see this is the QFT. First, at this column, we have the customer requirements, then followed by the engineering specifications, and then the benchmarking in the manual wheelchair, electric wheelchair, sport wheelchair, and ultralight wheelchair. This is the scope between the engineering specification and customer requirement, and then the core relationship between the uh, engineering specifications, and then based on this QRT we have conducted the result that the most important is the most important relative is dimensionals first one and then followed by the cost then is the weight and the water resistance of the product the last is the high flexibility this is our more molecular chart we conduct with a few components which are rotational well for different and then armrest seat and back rest materials and the support stand Based on the component, we have listed out five choices. The first, we in this operator chart, the best line is the bottom line. So we will conduct our construction design by using the first one rotation wheel is the option one, spot leg, custom wheel, and then the body pressure we use stainless steel because stainless steel is much more water res resistant. Followed by the bed rest, the design bed rest we can use to. Uh, help the person, uh, the patients put their hands not slip on the bed rest the design, and then followed by the seat and the bed rest material we use the PET because PET is recyclable and then is high toughness. Then the support stand is this. Yeah. Based on the morphological chart result, we construct the conceptual design by using the purple line in the morphological chart. First is the pot like caster wheel, and then. The material used for the body frame is the stainless steel and the back rest and the seat rest is used the poly ethylene tetraphyllic and then the body frame design is a support at the center near the handle uh, this is the conceptual design we have this bar to make sure that the support is more stable okay this is the pop like custom wheel and then use foot rest back rest and then the arm rest with the screening and scoring okay as you can see there are five designs like conceptual design one two three four and five so the selection criteria are stability weight shock absor absor ability and so on so from the stability design conceptual design one un until five are all the same because all of, all of them are almost in the same dimensions and when the weight the weight of design two is yeah benefit uh, well, design 5 is staying neutral and the rest are negative, which is yeah, heavier. And shock absorbability. The, the, for design 3 and 5, we used the wheel with absorb, uh, what we call that, the shock absorb, absorption system. So, design 3 and 5 have a good absorbability. So, continue with the strength. Design 1, 3, 4, and 5 with a better strength because of yeah, the design of the the wheelchair itself and for confined space turning which is the ability to turn in small small in small and small spaces all of them uh, have a positive with because all of them as, as I said just now they're almost same dimensions so after all of this we sum up the positive and we get design 5 have, a, have six positives which is the most among all of them and with no negative for design 5. So at the end of this screening, we conclude and we choose 3 in all of these 5 conceptual design for scoring, which are design 3, 4, and 5. So design 1 and 2 will be rejected. Okay, next, uh, after we choose all uh, the 3 design, then which, which are design 3, 4, and 5, conceptual design 3, 4, and 5, so we do a scoring. So that's uh, same as yeah, same as the previous one. Stability, weight, shock absorptions, strength, confined space turning will take into considerations. So, as we can see, the stability, yeah, same as this now. All of them are four because they are almost same, uh, same dimensions. And confined space turning, we have also same as four as well because yeah, they have the same, uh, almost same dimensions. So for the weight, design five, we have a, a higher rating because yeah, among three of these. Design 5 has the lowest uh, weight 
compared to all this due to their design and the material used. And shop has options. Yeah, as I said, this is now design 3 and 5. We use uh, the wheel with uh, absorption ability, absorption uh, system. So design 3 and 5 will have a better absor shock absorption. So in terms of strength, design 4 and 5 uh, get the highest, highest ranking because the design as well, the design of design 4 and 5 uh, have a better strength. And last, yeah, and what I've just said, and we have conclude all the uh, the total score among three, four, and five. And we, yeah, as you can see here, conceptual design five, we get the highest mark, which is four point three five. And yeah, design five is chosen as our final choice of our product. Okay, yeah, yeah. As you can see, this is our final uh, detailed design of our final choice. So it has a stronger stronger body frame support design compared to others, and the view provides shock absorption system yeah as you can see we use the frog leg frog leg, frog leg castle and the armrest we design as you can see there's a curve which can uh i would say that can prevent the slip okay for the user the user can put their hand on top of the armrest and yeah they won't slip because there's a curve curve that that's guiding the the hand okay okay let's continue with the manufacturing process of the wheelchair so Okay, uh, the first process is yeah, cutting. So for the whole, proce for whole process, before, before we start our, our manufacturing process, of course we need to cut the, the material. For example, the material we use is standard steel. We need to cut into the desired dimensions uh, yeah, where the standard steel tube are used for the fabrication of the body frame. So next. The next process is drilling process. So yeah, for example, the parts that we use to drill is the... Is the part where the, the seat of the wheelchair yeah, need to be drilled, need to be attached onto the frame. So we need to drill uh, several holes on the body frames of the wheelchair so that we can screw the uh, seat on top of it. Okay, so next. So next uh, is the filing process. Filing, uh, as for your information, filing is a material removal process in manufacturing. So we use filing process to, yeah, for, as you know, after the, the, the stainless steel is cut and they, they will have a lot of burrs or the dimension is not uh, accurate. So filing is used to remove the burrs and makes the, the steel, the material, the, the, the stainless steel to be more accurate to what the desired, uh, desired dimensions. Okay? Yeah. And next, the process used is MIG, which is metal inert, inert gas. So it used to connect all the parts together to form the frame of the wheelchair. So during the welding process, the current and voltage need to be controlled, of course. And the thickness of the frame also a factor to be considered during welding. Welding po polarity and the diameter of wire need to be alert. Okay, so last but not least, to produce our product, we need 3D printing. So the part used for 3D printing is uh, the, the seat, backrest and also armrest. We'll use uh, 3D printing to fabricate those parts. So the part is uh, fabricated by building layer by layer, which leads to a unique set of benefits and limitations. So the, the, the seats of the wheelchair will be printed by using the 3D printer, layer by layer, according to the shape that we provide. Okay? So that's all the, the processes for our, for our okay, wheelchair. We'll continue with the limitations and sensitivity of our, our product. So the, the limitation and sensitivity of parts are the main support of the wheelchair which are the body frame and the base frame of the wheelchair. So as you can see in, uh, in the figure above, we design a ribs at the main, main hold holding of the body frame of the wheelchair to increase the strength of yeah, the wheelchair itself and also the body frame itself. The second thing is the truss. So we design a T-shaped trusses uh, on the base of the body frame to support the load, to su support the strength of the, the seat of the wheelchair because the seat of the wheelchair will be attached on the top of here so the truss at, the, at below will support the seat as well. So yeah, as you can see, the bottom of the seat frame there is a truss designed how to reduce the load returned by the plastic seat. Okay. Thank you, Sean. Next, I will discuss about the uh, design efficiency. This is the formula to calculate design efficiency, which is 
n minimum multiplied by pa and divided by pma. n minimum is the theoretical part. In theoretical part minimum, ta is the estimate assembly time to complete assembly. But of the actual product, pma is theoretical lowest assembly time. After we optimize these three, we can substitute to the formula and get our result. The design efficiency is 34.94%, which is higher than 20%, and there is no redesign required. So we proceed to the DFE process. Based on the DFE process, the material we use to design our frame and the frame of the wheelchair is standard steel. And the material for the seat, handrest, footrest, backrest, and rubber handle is PET. So as you can see, both of our material used, major material, is recycled. This is the standard steel eco design web. As you can see, all of these are laid between good and very good asset distribution. Due to its high weight, the distribution becomes harder. Next. This is the sustainability of our wheelchair. So our material chosen to produce this wheelchair are follow these three principles, which is it is not harmful to human and it is able to recycle and safe to the environment. Next we proceed to the cost estimation. These are the result, the price we survey and get it from the internet. So as you can see the most of our cost is come from the standard steel and PET and total cost is about 700, 750 ringgit to process what produce one wheelchair next we proceed to our conclusion in a nutshell we successfully achieved the objective stated in our project which is make the transferring patient process become easier thank you, thank you.